Hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video we are going to take a close look at the Game Gear Micro. I must say I'm a little bit late to the party and I personally didn't really care to get this thing when it was just launched. I was quite excited about it, I think it's really cool the idea to bring Game Gear back, but this time in a very tiny format. But I do have long mixed feelings with this. I wish Sega was coming back with a new handheld or more with a new Dreamcast, you know? I think Sega is still one of my favorite companies and the reason is very simple because I grew up with them and they had some amazing like really cool games. Think about Street of Rage of course and Sonic the Hedgehog. I already did a review about the full unboxing of my Sega Game Gear, the original one, but I also want to take a close look at the Game Gear Micro. This is the black version, like my original version I'm having. We have the red version and the red version also comes with different games, which you can see over here. Then we have like the blue version and we have like the yellow. But when you're looking at the game collection, it's going to be a mix. This is just going to be like one of those fun novelties you can pick up. The, I'm just going to be honest, this is one of my favorite ones and the reason because it comes with Sonic the Hedgehog and Outrun. Personally I never played these other games and to be honest I don't really care about it. So when it comes to this over here we do have like the red version that comes with less bible and columns. The columns are one of my cool uh, favorite games I played a lot. So then we do have like the blue version. The blue version comes with Sonic and Tails and some other games like Gunstar Heroes. I really like it, the one on the Mega Drive but never played it on the Game Gear. And then we have like the last one, the yellow one. This one comes with Shining Force. And I must say that I don't even know like the last game. But let's do a quick unboxing guys and let's try them out because I'm really curious how these things are. And also I wanted to try out is this, the big window micro. So a magnifying glass for the Game Gear Micro. Quite interesting because I did own back in the day the original, let's say magnifying glass for the Game Gear. But this is going to be kind of cool. I really love these cute boxes by the way. The way how they just packed it up is so really cute. I love it. I'm just going to be honest with you. But the way how this also like looks and feels, it feels like a really cool like Sega quality product only now in a very tiny format. I also find it cool to have like this, like it looks like a cartridge that is implemented in the system. Of course there is not. This thing does work on two AAA batteries that we're going to grab. The feel and overall, yeah, I don't know exactly what to think about it. it it's of course way tinier than the original one. The D-pad feels kind of weird. Then you can do one or two buttons. They got a very nice weird touch to it. But then overall, like it, it looks such a nice quality product. So let's put some batteries in and let's start playing some games. The battery life is depending what kind of quality batteries you're using. Because when you lose it using the cheap ones, it will run out way faster than with your more expensive ones. So I thought we're going to get ourselves like a micro USB. Then we're going to get ourselves even like a headphone jack out, volume control, and here I have like the on and off switch. And we're turning it on, it will take a couple of seconds for booting up and showing me the Game Gear micro intro. I really like it, and I don't know exactly what it is running on the background. I know my good friend from the Pandora team, Tim, did make a video about it. Like how you can even like modify these things. The first thing I've noticed, like, it's very, not like difficult to press the D-pad, but you can see that it has some problems, like, it doesn't recognize the input. You can go to the option here. You can see, like, we have, like, some information that we can look into. Well, let's take a close look at what we can do. We do have, like, a tiny battery indication over here. It seems to be that they are running this on open, like say open source software, like it says over here. That's basically the text that you can find. But quite interesting that they implemented in this. But I like really like the tunes of this thing. I must say it also comes with a very nice speaker. So let's try a couple of names. Let's see if it's be like even to be playing ball of this because oh man, controls is just a pain in the butt. Yep, sounds still crappy like back in the day. <laughs> but let's try a quick game of Sonic. I do like the display in general because they are having a very nice IPS display. But also Ivory sound effects sound amazing on this thing.
Okay, so let's do a quick unboxing of the other one because I want to try them all out. I need to be very careful I'm not going to ruin the box. That's always the case with these things. And I can tell you, like, the other one didn't even op were opened up by the previous owner. So it's pretty damn cool. But I just wanted to open it up myself. Ooh, I really love this yellow one. This looks really cool. Like, the combination of the green buttons, they look amazing. I find it a little bit of a bummer, to be honest, that they, like, released so many versions with all, like, different games. I know there is a solution for that. I'm going to talk about it later. So let's put these batteries in. Let's put it up. Oh man, like closing this thing is a nightmare. I think it doesn't even close. <laughs> I, sh I swear I'm going to destroy this thing. Oh. Okay, let's try this final game, the fourth game. The other one were like Shining Force. Just wanted to see what kind of game this is. I'm going to say navigating is not really bad, but... I crank up the volume. Oh, that was the maximum volume. <laughs> but this is basically the yellow version when it comes to the micros. Then we do have like the red version that came with Last Bible, something like that. Let's try columns. I'm really curious about that. Like that game, how it is. Just going to open them up, all of them. Mm, yeah. Also comes with the metal. I'm going to look at later. Fun fact: these things are not made in China. No, 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 no. They are made in Taiwan. So that's a new one. I still have the feeling that all of the D-pads respond differently, especially when you're looking at this. Like there's almost no feedback whatsoever. Kind of weird. Do, 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 do. The funny thing is I'm basically like playing through my camera screen because it's so freaking tiny. Oh man, this navigating, there is no feedback whatsoever on this D-pad. It's absolutely garbage. Oh man, oh man. My favorite color is blue because I was waiting for you. That is the thing what I was thinking when seeing the blue version. I'm going to destroy this box. Yep, I destroyed it. See, that's the thing that I... That's the reason I hate these freaking boxes. I'm always, like, destroying them. But yeah, nothing to do about it. So, let's take a close look at the manual. We didn't really do that before. So, let's see. What does it say? Is there any information that we can actually read? Uh, no, there is not. <laughs> I cannot really read it. I know there are ways for it, but uh, I just wanted to show you. Let's put it back in the bag. Let's put it back in the bag. All right, so let's try the final version or the blue. Personally, this is not one, one of my favorite color blue. I think it was like a different like color. If you're looking at the box, a little bit darker, but yeah, nothing to do about So there was one particular game I've never played that is Sonic and Tails. So let's see which game that is. Oh, that sounds a little bit better. Ah, it's Sonic Chaos. Oh man, I play this game so much. Also, this D-pad doesn't have any feedback whatsoever. Yep, can I remember that song or that tune? Yep. I was so happy to have this game in my collection back in the game, in the days. And here on top we can find that weird power up with the rockets. Come on, come on, come on. Here it goes. <laughs> yeah, oh crap, I missed all the rings. And I also had the spinning dash, if I can recall it correctly. Yeah, that was so cool. Absolutely cool. But there's still one thing I need to try, and that is the magnifying glass. And that is what we're going to do. Let's see if we can get it out of the box safely I'm <laughs> just so curious like how this is going to be looking holy shit there are a lot of parts well, let's see what we're going to get with it oh it does say how you need to implement this okay I think this one needs to be at the front okay and let's see how it improves 
It's kind of funny if you think about it. Like they made a magnifying glass for this micro thing. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's much better. All right, let's put it back together. Okay, I didn't really do a great job over here. Oh. I can all remove it. I can see like even I remove this part. Okay. Now I know for sure. And I think I need to put it in here. I need to basically like put it one in here. And try to all squeeze it together. Something like that, you know? <laughs> but the end result seems to be working just fine and yeah we can still zoom in with the freaking camera because it's so tiny but it is a little bit better now so let's try to play a little bit of the sonic gales game <laughs> oh man this is so weird so the fact they made a magnifying glass for this micro is absolutely like wicked as it can be oh didn't touch it All right, so let's do a quick teardown and let's rip it apart just to see how this thing looks in the inside. Just going to get ourselves not in trouble because I think this thing can be put together fairly easy. They're using all the same screws. So when it comes to this micro thing, I'm just going to be honest, like, I love that Sega does stuff like this. But the other side of me says, like, yeah, what's the point, you know? It's more like a cool gimmick to buy for nostalgia reasons, but it also comes with a couple of these freaking, let's say... Yeah, not let's say like a lot of special things to it like only a couple of games handful of games okay i'm thinking like i can do it very safely but you can see like tearing this thing down it's going to be like a pain in the ass because somehow the pcb is still stuck in here need to remove the pcb come on ah oh, there goes the membrane that maybe explains why this thing feels so flimsy they're using these in my opinion these cheap Membrane field th things, yeah, it does like the same goes with the, the freaking D pad. There we go. So basically, they have like the back one, the, the back plate. Here we have the main board itself. I do have the idea, idea that the screen itself has been like like molded into the freaking like front plastic or I can just basically peel it out. I'm going to leave it like this. It does shows a model number. But yeah, there are not a lot of parts in here. Absolutely not. Another interesting thing is when you're looking at the specifications list that we do have like some other extra information. For example, here you can see like this is not the first version. So this PCB is version 2.4.2.0. There's no production date whatsoever. And let's remove this sticker just to see what we're going to get underneath. So it's so fun if you want to do something like that and it doesn't work the first time. So the chip itself, what they're using is from the brand All Winner that we have seen before in Chinese boxes and other devices. This is a chip you don't see very often or I don't see them very often. But that's basically the chip they are running on with this tiny Game Gear. But when you're looking at this Game Gear Micro, it's a really cool piece of, let's say, collectible. But it's something you should pick up that is absolutely up to you. I think part of me says like it's a little bit pointless, especially looking at like the four games that came with it. The overall quality, it looks like a very cool quality. And I mean like it looks like it, but when you just feel it, I personally find it deep and not super comfortable to play. Did you ever own one of these? Let me know in the comments. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become a wicked family, and it will be great to see you in the next video.